successful. All right, everybody, we are driving it home with the professor. I got a new headset, so I got this going right now. Uh, I am very lucky and honored to have a 27-time world champion Hanato Laranja on the show. Um, I don't know if my words can do him justice, so I'm going to allow him to. Well, I'm not going to allow him, but I'm going to uh, pass over the microphone to him and, and let him introduce himself. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. I pass over. I was going to almost pass over your show in a minute because uh, take it easy. Uh, I I think I'm one of that guys who who don't need any introduction, but for somebody who's lived under a hawk for the past I don't know how many years. I'm uh, Hanato Laranja, uh, and that's all that needs to be said to that one. Well, I, I appreciate you being on the show. I know you, you have a busy schedule. It looks like, uh, are, you in the, the, are you somewhere in your home, or are you some, you know? I'm in a guest quarters in my compound. Oh, okay, all right. So let's, um, let, let's get down to it. I know uh, you being a 27-time world champion, uh, training in the gi and representing jiu-jitsu is, is very important to you. Um, recently, Firas Zahabi came out and said that the gi is the Achilles heel uh, of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu when it comes to MMA. Uh, and I, I'd like to get your input on that. Uh, well, you know, first of all, it's kind of funny to, to have to answer a question about Faha Zababis because it's not really, uh, to my understanding, he's not an authority to BJJ. And you know, it, it, to my understanding, he's a guy who was uh, who was start with one single uh, falafel stand, uh, falafel karch, and was uh, uh, generate that into a, 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 a mixed martial arts uh, empire. So he's an entrepreneur, and I gotta respect him for that. But he should stick to what he know and to his Achilles heel. Listen. Uh, what he said is the Achilles tendons? I think he said it was the Achilles heel of, of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and MMA, the gi, well, training in the gi. And then I think he's a shit heel. Okay. I mean, uh, he is, you know, George St. Pierre's trainer. George St. Pierre is a UFC champion. Yeah. He has plenty well, of other tough guys. What has George St. Pierre did lately? George St. P.U. for her. All right. I mean, you know, I I have to defer to you. Twenty-seven time world champion. I mean, who knows more about the gi than you? Yeah, that's that's high. Who knows more? Nobody. And let me tell you something. That's a problem. That's that's faced the kids, the young children, and the black children too. The inner city don't even have access to a gi. And like your children, I hope I know you have a black children's and uh, half half half. Oh, uh, and by the way, I, I would be he miss. If I don't tell you to to uh, wish you you and your wife, what your black wifey, uh, a happy Kwanzaa to you. I'll I'll let her know. She's a, she's asleep with the kids now. She's got her uh, her do rag on. Make sure that her hair is fine in the morning. You gotta keep it that way because they have to stay attract. For uh, sure. You have to have that good hair, or else you're gonna you're gonna get a wandering eyes. You don't want to see her to have an afro for her. So, um, Mestri, or, or how would you prefer that I uh, refer to you? Mestri, Hanato, I don't want to be disrespectful. You know, you can't call me Maestro, you can't call me uh, Master, you can't call me, you know, Hanato, you can't call me Uncle Hanach, you can't call me Laranjino, Hanatao. There's a lot of people call me a lot of stuffs. All right, I'll, I'll be respectful. I, you know, I train in the gi. I respect the gi. I have my black belt, so I'll, I'll call you. Black, uh, black, a lot of other stuff too, for her. Well, Mestri, um, you know, I'm really interested. I know you. You tell everyone the story of how you got started in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You were in in the favela, and this man came and he put something on you, and that man was uh, Murillo Bustamante. That was Bustamante. And he changed your life. Could you could you tell the fan you know the fans of this show what your relationship is with him now and and how you kind of got connected with him? You know he was uh, he was safe if not for my God and then also Bustamante. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna be here today uh, to 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 be to live on the lap of luxury uh, and and to have all the stuff that I can't afford. 
and should have women, uh, white women and black women and, and also Puerto Rican. And you don't, uh, you don't discriminate? No, I try not to. I, I try to uh, not, I don't want to deprive uh, any kind of female the opportunity. That's why I'm trying to stay single because I don't want to, uh, I want to spread my seed. Okay. Like Johnny Apple Siege. Now, uh, do you still stay in contact with, with Murillo or is yeah, there any... Uh, Munch, uh, he's always uh, on my heart. Uh, we don't get to see each other like we want to. Uh, but sometime, he, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a conference. We when I got do a call, sometime the three, we're gonna do a conference call. Me and Chu Hanzino, and we're gonna, you know, so it, it's almost like Illuminati. We're pulling the strings. A lot of people don't know, but we're the head of that stuff. I mean, not Illuminati, but but we 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 want to be the head of what's happening to jujitsu. Well, maybe you guys do a Google Hangout like you and I are doing right now. Maybe not. Okay. All right. So uh, you don't see Marillo as much as you'd like. Recently, you just put out your latest episode of uh, of your show, uh, which is amazing. They do such a great job. The production, mm -hmm. Echo, all those guys. You 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 do a really good job, but. You know, it seemed like there was a little friction between you and um, you and Frank Shamrock. You know, can you go? Is there a, is there a history with you guys, or is that something just from the show? Let me ask you a quick question, my brother. Where I'm put, supposed to put my eyes? Because I can't help but you look the picture of my face, and then I notice that it, 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 my eyes look like I'm look don't look at you. So it, I'm supposed to look you to the eyes or the green stuff up there. If you look down, it looks like you've been smoking weed. If you look at the green oh, light, bite your tongue. That's natural medicines. If somebody prescribed, it's only because to my my knee and my glaucoma. I didn't use for recreational purpose like uh, like Edgy Bravo. Man, so yeah. So if you look at the straight ahead at the green, you should be fine. You won't look like you're uh, you just smoked some green crack. You know so. So you and you and Frank, there, there seemed to be. He seemed not to uh, be too happy with you. You asked him some probing questions. I, you know, I got the feeling that uh, there was some beef there from from way back. Maybe the old uh, jujitsu versus luta livre days, or versus the lion's den. I don't know. Less to do with that. You know, frankly, I don't care what Frank has to say about anything. What's done is done. Okay. Um, and, and and listen, I had a bones to pick because what he did a dirty move, and I don't want to he, he hash this stuff, but he did a dirty stuff to 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 Hens, Henzino, and and I I think that you know I had to I had to uh, to confront the guy about that, and if we had to come to if it has to come to blows, then it had to do to 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 went that way. Hey, well, I mean, I, I don't think anybody else has really brought that up to him, so I think the jiu-jitsu community at large, and more than likely probably Henzo, appreciates the fact that you, even all these years later, you're defending his honor. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people is, is, was uh, very was happy that I, that I did that. And, uh, yeah, Henzinho, he deserved better than that. And also, you know, the people deserve better than to see – you know, don't get me started to those chomp to those chompers that 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 Frank was working with for so many years. And it's a blessing. The one thing I'm gonna give him credit where credit is due. I'm gonna say that if I, you know he's he's had the 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 good taste to get hit of that the braces and stuff like that. So I feel yeah, for, that. for a lot of years you could see the braces and it was you know it was unbecoming. But you know you were probably one of the few people man enough uh, to say something to him about yeah. it. I, I was man enough to say what everybody was thinking. Nobody want to see that, that, that kind of stuff. So we've already heard his name a couple times. You call him Henzino. I, I, I don't have that relationship with him. I call him Master Henzo Gracie. You guys seem to have such a, a level of respect and love for each other. You know, Can you let the fans know where, where that comes from? It's a mutual respect. Uh, we both come from a, a Huff area, and we both uh, we both came up. We have a, a similar background, and we both have a love for jujitsu. And you know, uh, first was my God uh, was brought me to this world, 
and then was Busta March who took me to Jiu Jitsu, and then it was Hanzinho who was really uh, who was uh, honed my techniques and was took me under to his his wings and was allowing me to fly. So when you say he honed your techniques, he, he actually helped you develop your jiu-jitsu or your techniques with the ladies? Ah, uh, you know, uh, that's a good point, but, you know, he, he was, uh, it, it, I, I've always had a, a, a gift uh, to, to secure Poon Chang in my life. He, it's like a, I've always just always been lucky to have that, to want to flock uh, to me. And, and but but jujitsu, I've 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 been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with with uh, Hanzinho and to to pick his brain, um, and and to to learn and to and also to to teach. Well, so I was going to ask you at any point, was it topsy turvy? Did you did the student become the master? Why it means topsy turvy? Well, when you start down here and he's up here, and then you start coming up here and you flip it. He's uh, enough of a heel man to 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 respect uh, if there's something to to be learned. Like if you if you was look to my my Instagram, he was you know he was he hadn't competed in a long time, and uh, before his uh, match to Saka Saka Haba uh, Suzuki's Kashiwa, uh, Saka Haja. Uh, he 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 was uh, call out to me right before his match, and he said he put a call, and um, I believe it was uh, uh, Halleck who was grab me and said, "Hanzino needs you right now, and needs he needs you to be with him." And I I was kind enough to go back there, I hand back there, and I help him to 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 focus and to he he member. And to to uh, to get him ready for for the the fight. So we can say we could thank you for getting Henzo to the level where he basically dominated Sakuraba with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, and those techniques. So you you got his mind right. You can say that. Wow. So now this leads into the next question. Henzo is a Master Henzo is a famous Gracie. You have connections with all these famous um, other fighters and students and, and all these other things. But, you know, if uh, somebody wanted to come learn from, from Master Hanato, you know, if they want to, say, take a private lesson, like how does that work? How much do you charge for your private lessons? And, you know, what, what would, uh, what would a, a student learn from you? Well, listen, uh, you know, it's like, uh, it's like this. You know, you got to... You get what you pay for, okay? And I, I've never discussed uh, my hates online, uh, on on public, but I'm I'm do stuff on a sliding scales. Okay. But uh, it's not gonna be cheap, my brother. Okay. And you're gonna learn whatever I feel like teaching. You ever go to a sushi restaurant, the best one, and you try to order a fucking uh, California volcano uh, salmon. Uh, Hainbow roll, and they go, go fuck yourself. You're gonna take what I'm gonna teach you to have. You're gonna take what's fresh, uh, and I'm gonna give you the one that I feel like doing that one. And maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna hack a man's shrimp. It's fresh today, and you're gonna shrimp all the whole fucking Chinese. So shrimp sushi or like shrimp no, elbow escape? Sushi. You're gonna shrimp your escape till you puke, if I feel like it. And well, you I mean, also pay more than you used to pay in there. All right. Well, I mean, I think if people want to submit, right, if they want to be your student, these are some of the things that they have to realize, right, that they have to do what you say. Yeah, it's like the Kaha, uh, Kahach, Karach kid. You're going to do what the fuck uh, Dr. Miyagi told you to do. Hey, I mean, you want to you wanna train with the best. There are they're strings attached. Yeah. Now, speaking of strings attached, I want to talk about two more things, and I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but, um, man, there's no bigger strings than, than children. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm a father. I have two kids. I take care of my children. I have a loving wife. I don't like where this is going. 
I'm I'm sorry, but you know I I have to ask. You have a movement that's anti-child support. You know I'm, I I don't try to be very controversial here, but you know what's what's up? Why not take care of the kids? Listen, uh, this is gotcha journalism and sensational journalism. Who the fuck do you think you are, uh, Marco uh, Pejaso, uh, uh, Martin Downey's Jr.? Listen. Uh, if, if you must know, there's a lot of people out there who want to uh, have sex, uh, John Kohanach, okay? And then they want to do without a condom because it's going to feel better. And they want to be close to Uncle Hanach. And they want to feel some of the, the skin. And they want to have the experience to, uh, to feel uh, what it feels like to feel some of the veins that's on there. And not to be obstructed with the hover. And then... And then I oblige that one, and I say, uh, you whatever you as you wish." And then I did that, and they had a, a great chimey. Now they want to come back a couple months later and, and say, "Hey, not, I me have a baby." And I say, uh, or they say, "Nah, I wish they said I me have a baby." They said, "We we pregnant, or we have a baby." And I said, like uh, uh, Tanto was said to the Lone Ranger, uh, "What we white man?" I said, I don't have the money to, to deal with that stuff, and I don't have the energy for that. How I'm supposed to be, uh, how I'm supposed to take care of the Hesta Jiu-Jitsu community and to, to, to deal with that stuff and to do an interview like I was, took the time out of my day to, to, to do something to you, uh, your show, and to boost your ratings, even though we're on Google, uh, Chrome, and nobody's probably watched this one. But I still gave you the hatings that you need, and I'm uh, how I'm supposed to do that if I have to do child support and I have to do a, another jobs. I have to have five jobs or stuff like that. I gotta take care of number one. And like I told uh, Kenny Flahian, uh, when you you're on the plane, you gotta make sure that you put the mask to yourself first. You don't gonna put to the children first. So if I don't have money, then how are children's gonna have money for hakar are you? Well, all right. I mean, that's a that's an answer. Maybe not the one that the baby's mamas want to hear, but you know, you, you I that's I tough. would have thought that you would have wanted to take care of your kids and build an army like the Gracie family has built, and have your your tribe of Laranjas to take over, you know, where the Gracies have left off. But it doesn't seem like you're interested. I don't need a tribe like that. I don't need any more tribe. I'm good to myself. I'm already have a tribe of Laranjinos all over the place. All my fans, all my all my, my students. I don't need any more of that ones. And and I had to fend for myself. And sometimes you have to pull yourself up by the bootstrappy, like you friends on the Republican Party. They say that you gotta do you do for yourself. All right. Well, I I don't wanna I don't wanna upset you anymore because I really appreciate you taking the time on on our little show that we that, that we're doing here. Um, the the last thing I want to ask you, and I want to wrap wrap it up with this, is um, Vinny Magalesh. Speaking what? of strings attached, Poha. Yeah, a tampon, yeah. A, a tampon strings. What's the beef? Where does it, where does it come from, and why why can't you guys bury the hatchet? First of all, if I'm gonna bury a hatchet, I'm gonna bury it to the back of his fucking head. How come you went? Uh, you 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 became obscure now. And I don't mean that. I mean uh, literal, literal. I don't mean like your career. I'm uh, talking about you, you, you face. I can't uh, see. Shit. May, maybe I don't have good internet connection here in Philadelphia. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna. Oh, now it's clear up. Okay. okay. I'm. I'm. So, I apologize. You're back. Maybe it was better that way before. Uh. So anyway, uh, uh, Vinny Magalesh, listen, I don't want to waste a lot of chimey and and to look. Everybody's having nice holidays and trying to to enjoy themselves. To try to have Kwans over there and also to mix a Italian Christmas on there and to give. Uh, are you you still give the black woman a, a brajol even though, uh, you know. Yeah, but, no, we, but, we'll uh, do the seven fishes too. Hmm. For her, that seven inches. For her. <laughs> anyway, to 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 answer your question, Vinny Magalash, um, 
listen, I, I, I really don't want to end this on a sour note. So, okay, Vinny Magalesh knows what kind of problem we got together. One day I'm going to put into bed uh, that issue to bed for, for a long time. And uh, let's just say he was a uh, step on my toes, and he's very disrespectful and obese uh, piece of shit. And, and I, I don't appreciate him, and I'm sure the rest of the fans don't appreciate him. And we all better if he's just disappear. Well, so uh, can I throw out a theory that I have, if that's no. okay? What's that one? The, that he abandoned the gi, and that offended you. Uh, that was one stuff, but he, you know, he, he was disrespectful to to the to to, to Nogara. He was disrespect. He was trained to Edge Bravo. He was represent. He was left Hoyle Gracie. And went to Edge Bravo. He thinks he's white. He thinks he's he's light skinned He thinks he's better look than me. And also, let me tell you something. If you want to know who, who's better look between me and him, and who's have a better physique, and who's more attractive, you can ask his wife, Alini. And how you doing out there? I want to do a shout out to Alini, and I uh, I'm wishing you a a, a, a tasteful uh, um, uh, Christmas and Kwanzaa and all that stuff to Alini. Uh, you know, uh, I like that's, to put a something down your chimney and also do your stocking, a stocking stuff first, Paul. Man, I, I that's all right. I'm not sure where to go with that one. I um, I'd, I'd like to wrap it I up think now. Who knows where th that goes with that one? I uh, like to give you the opportunity if there's any closing uh, statement that you'd like to make or any sponsors or any seminars that you have coming up uh, that you'd like to let the fans know about. Listen, I've got a couple of uh, charity seminars coming up this month, uh, but I don't have the information in front of me. We're going to do one for uh, where we're going to, it's like for we're going to abuse children and ab abuse women and children or some stuff like that. And then we have one where we're going to help some fallen uh, sh sheriff's department, some guys from the sheriff's. And then I'm going to do the Sunday haulout uh, to Jeff Globby in San Diego. I, I believe that's going to be next weekend. We're going to do some of that stuff. But anyway, never mind that stuff, the charity stuff. Let's focus true. Renato Laranja, Renato underscore Laranja uh, on Twitter and Instagrammy. And uh, can watch the, the Renato Laranja show on YouTube and also Flix Points TV. And then hopefully we're going we're gonna to take to a major network, uh, HBO, can do on stars, can do any stuff like that, uh, any of that channel, Cinemax, uh, or whatever you like. Any any sponsors you'd like to thank before we uh, before we call it a night? I'd like to thank myself because without me, then none of this stuff's gonna happen. And I thank to my God for our Christmas. If it wasn't for our Jesus, we didn't have any presents, and we're not gonna have some other stuff like that. And, and 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 for those people who is fucking don't think you need it's necessary to to have the gi, try going outside and be outside without any clothes, uh, like some of that poor black children like Marco Perazzo's uh, half black children, and and you you didn't have clothes and 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 you have a gi and you had something to keep you warm when you're training and you choose not to keep that you waste the gi shame to you and shame on yourself. Bah humbug to that one. Mestre Hanato, I, uh, I, I thank you for being on, on our little show. I, I, uh, I fully expect us to get what, what they call in the industry the Mestre Hanato bump uh, in our ratings and, and all that other thing. So uh, from the bottom of our hearts, Merry Christmas, and thank you for, uh, for being on our show. Uh, Merry Christmas and a happy holiday to you and a happy new year. Uh, good tidings is going to come to you uh, on you. You and can and can ish, maybe even can can just can channel. Huh. Okay, oh. thank you, sir.